In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly create a Line Notebook page for your low content books. Hey everyone, I want to show you how easy it is to make Line Notebook pages with the Line tool and Step and Repeat. So let's get started. I just press W so we can see the page margins. And now I'm going to select the Line tool. And I'll be using this to draw the first line of my notebook page. And as I'm drawing the line with my mouse, I'm holding down the shift key on the keyboard because that's what keeps the line going straight. Now I have the line still selected, so I'm going to go up here to edit, step and repeat, and then fill out this section. So the first field is the count field, and this number indicates how many more lines will be drawn. So right now it's set to draw 10 lines, and I'll change that to 15 lines. Next, I'll keep this checkbox unchecked and then go down here to the vertical offset field. And this number is your line spacing. So right now the lines will be spaced at one third of an inch apart and I'll just change that to a half an inch. And then I'll leave the horizontal offset field at zero. So now when I press OK, I get 15 lines and they're spaced evenly at a half an inch apart. So next, I just want to fill out the rest of this bottom space. So I'll repeat the process by selecting the bottom line, going back up to step and repeat. And this time, I'll type in the number 5 to add 5 more lines. And that was actually too many lines, so all I need to do is just select the extra lines and delete them. So now let me press W. So now you can see I have a page full of lines that are evenly spaced. And then at this point, you can leave your page as is, or you can have some fun and customize the lines by selecting them and then going up here. So here you do have a few options. You can change the line thickness. Another option is changing the line style. Let's make it dashed. And then a third option is changing the line color. Okay, so now I'm actually going to undo these last three changes. And then I'm going to create a page heading up here. So what I'll do is just delete this top line so I have space for my page heading. And then I'll go here to the Type tool and draw a text box. And then type in my heading. So I'll just type in Notes. And then I'll change the font so it's a little bit fancier and larger. And then I'll center it. So let's see how it looks. And that completes the video. If you liked it, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.